Now that we know what a tangent line is, and we know the importance of finding the slope of the tangent line, let's start by just looking at a few graphs and trying to estimate the slope of the tangent line. So in the first example, we've got our function f of x equals 3 over x plus 2, and I'm supposed to estimate the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1. So the first thing we need to do is draw the tangent line. So at x equals 1, this point right here is on the graph, and that is going to be the point of tangency, is what we call it. And So what you want to do is do your best to draw a tangent line, and your tangent line should just touch the curve at that one point, and then sort of go off in the direction um, that the, the curve would go, go off at. Um, and I guess the best way to explain it is imagine, like if you imagine this is kind of like a, a roller coaster or something, and you're you're moving down this ride. If you were to let go right at at uh, the point one one, what direction would you go in, ignoring gravity and all that? That's how you want to think about the the tangent line. So let me let me draw it. And again, I apologize for this thick thick drawing tool, but so here's my my best attempt at a tangent line. Something like that roughly. So it just basically you know grazes the line at that one point and then kind of goes off in the direction. There so um, what we want to do is estimate the slope of this line and so the the best way to do it I think is just find two good points that it, it may go through. Um, and I think I think it uh, definitely goes through this point itself, right? It goes through the point 1, 1, so we can use that point there. And then it looks like it might go through this point here. Let's use a different color. Let's use these two points on our line to estimate that slope. All right, so the slope of that line is my change in y divided by my change in x. So my change in y looks like I'm going down 1, and my change in x is up 3. So it looks like the slope is about equal to, so the slope of that tangent line is about equal to negative a third. Okay, so again, this is a very semi, somewhat crude way of, of finding the slope of the tangent line. And we'll get more analytic ways to, uh, of doing it later. But for now, hopefully you just uh, you understand what a tangent line is and what we're really looking for. Let's look at the next example. I've got uh, f of x equals x squared minus 2x, and I want the tangent line at x equals 1. So at x equals 1, that's right here, this point. And so if you draw that tangent line, you'll notice that its slope is the slope of a horizontal line, right? Right, right, at, that, right at that point. I mean, again, if you were to let go right at that instant, you, in an ignoring gravity, you would just go off horizontally. So, so the slope of that horizontal line is easy to compute. Oops, sorry about that. The slope of the um, slope of that line is easy to compute. It's just zero, right? No rise, no run. Any horizontal line has a slope of zero. And actually, I don't even think I don't think I need to say about. I think we're pretty sure that that slope is zero. All right, let's try let's try a couple more. Let's look at uh, f of x equals the absolute value of x minus one at x equals one. So x equals one is right here. So what you notice is there's a corner there, right? It's a very sharp corner in that graph, and so. This is our first encounter with a tangent line that can't be drawn. So the reason you can't draw a tangent line here is because we can only draw tangent lines if our curves are changing smoothly. So this is a, this is a corner, and our curve is not changing smoothly. To give you a sense of, of what we mean by that in, in, in another context, if this graph were to represent like my, uh, my distance from home, so this is a, the graph from my distance from home. What this might be saying is like right at one o'clock, right? I'm at home, 
And then right at that instant, I, I turn around and, and start leaving my home again. But there has to be a gradual, no matter how, I mean, there has to be a gradual change uh, in direction. You can't just in one instant be be going towards home and then at that exact instance be going away from home. Okay, there there has to be, at least not in this universe, there has to be some sort of continual continual change, or gradual smooth change in your curve. And that doesn't, doesn't happen here, so we cannot draw a tangent line. So uh, we would say that the slope uh, does not exist. Okay, the slope of the tangent line does not exist because you can't draw a tangent line. How about this situation at the cube root of x at x equals 0? So x equals 0 is right here. And if we draw our tangent line, what we get is a completely vertical line. So the tangent line is completely vertical in this case. So a, a, a vertical line has an undefined slope. So the slope is undefined. Now, by the way, I, I, I don't want you to consider, I mean, these, these two situations both are slopes, are, are situations where the slope of the tangent line does not exist. Um, so I want you to understand that they're, they both, I used DNE here, but I really could have just also used that the slope is undefined. Right. These are just two different ways that your tangent that your uh, your tangent line has no slope, or you or the the slope of the curve is undefined. Okay. So I think undefined is a little bit better uh, than than DNA. The slope is undefined at those points. Okay. So those are two special situations you want to keep in mind. So maybe try the 